It seems like the World Cup has already started in this plaza in Buenos Aires. They're all traveling to Qatar for the World Cup, and this is the last barbecue before their trip. Lorena Rodriguez says most of them have become experts in finding the most affordable way to accompany Argentina's team in Doha. I haven't gone on holiday for two years, saving every peso to buy dollars to be able to make this trip. Our dollar is devalued, so it costs more, and I will travel with several stopovers. We stay in the cheapest place, but we will be there. Argentina is struggling with around 7% inflation rate a month. Exchange rate controls, around 14 different types of exchange rates. One of them is known as the dollar Qatar, that because of the taxes that are going to be imposed on credit cards. But all these people here say that they don't care. Emiliano Matrangolo says that during the last World Cup, he traveled to Russia, but had to pay three times more on his credit card when he returned because of differences in the exchange rate. In Russia, it happened that we left with a dollar at 14, and then there was a devaluation to 21, and I spent everything and had to replan everything. We managed, we are Argentines, and we're used to crisis. We adapt. Lautaro Paraguirre had lung cancer three years ago. He was a professional football player and had to change his life. I had pain in my chest and took ibuprofen. I went to the doctor and there was a spot. They thought it was pneumonia. In the end, I had cancer. When I had surgery and woke up, I looked at my father and said, if I survive this, we are going to the World Cup. Father and son have tickets to watch other countries, but not Argentina. They say living this World Cup together is their biggest gift. Our whole lives changed. We have a new calendar, which are his controls that happen every month. And living, this has been a challenge on the economic side, on the personal side. We still don't have tickets to see Argentina, but I'm hoping we will get them. Passion for football and Lionel Messi runs high here. Fans traveling to Qatar are leaving all their troubles behind with one thing in common, their support for the team they love. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.